Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we will be discussing about how we can sort data in Excel. We will be discussing basic cleaning in Excel in this whole module and here today we are discussing about sorting data in Excel. How we can sort data in Excel is very simple. All you need to do is, so suppose if you have a table here, you have a filter option, just click on this. It gives you an ascending order or a descending order. So if you want to arrange in an ascending order, this is how you arrange it. If you want to arrange it in a descending order, just click on Z to A. Okay. This is how you arrange it in descending order. If you click on it again, you will see it gives an option to sort by color as well. So you can sort the data based on color as well. So let's click on this and we have custom sort and we have font color sort or cell color sort. So let's go for a cell color sort that whatever is in pink color that comes on the top. So food is in pink color that comes in on the top. Uh, previously, according to A to Z method, if we go for ascending to descending method, B comes first and bills were there on the top. But now because we have used the color sort, the color will come first. Now let's go to custom sort over here. Even in the color, I want the next level of sorting uh, in this way that even in a color, the amount should be in ascending order. For that, I can just add a new level. So let's add a new level over here, which says the amount amount should be based on cell values and you want it to be smallest to largest let's click on ok and now in the food we have the amount arranged in ascending to descending order then uh, rest of them are arranged accordingly ok now again if you want to change any of the levels just go to sort custom sort and if you want to remove any of the level just click on it and click on delete level just click on it click on delete level if you want to add a level you need to do it in this way. Like suppose we choose a category uh, based on category. We want A to Z and now we choose an amount in the amount according to our cell values. We choose descending order. So in bills, the highest value is 16,000 then 1600 in clothes, the highest value is 1890 and then 1000 in essentials. The highest value is 1500 then 890 then 780 and then 120. Then in food again, the descending order has been placed over here. So this is how we can sort our data. We can customize the number of levels as well as per our choice. Now, if you choose a table and if you want to go to clear option, we can clear the formats as well. So whatever the formats were present over here, those formats has been cleared now as well. So if you want to clear the format, this is what you can choose. Uh, we also have clear contents and clear all. So don't choose them. Otherwise, all your data will be gone. Okay, so this is how we can clear the things from here. Again, let's click on it, sort by color and we have custom sort only and these levels are here. If you want to delete them, we can delete these levels as well and click on OK and your table will be back to normal how it was. Okay, if you select all, you can see as soon as I choose the table on the top, we have table design as well. So you can go to table design. Okay, and uh, here we have many options if you want to remove duplicates, summarize with the pivot table. We'll be discussing ahead in the session that what pivot tables are, or you can choose different styles for your tables as well. So if you want to choose any of these styles, you can go for any of these styles. If you want to choose this darkened one, you can choose this darker one as well. So totally up to you, however you want your table to look like. Okay, you can move this table as well. Uh, and for that, you need to select the whole table. Once you select the whole table, you can see there's a uh, button which shows the arrows on all the four sides. Just click on it and you can just move your table just like this. So simply you can move it. You can again set the size of your cells and see as soon as I have moved it, a lot of things are, a lot of things have changed over here. For example, the date, date is in general format and not in a date format. So just go over here and you can just make it a short or a long date according to your choice and it's back to the date format and for the amount you can just click on it again and you can change it to a currency okay so yeah and we are back to normal so this is how you can change the table formats as well and also if you want to sort your data again you can sort it according to your choice as of now it has been sorted ascending to descending 
uh, by itself and if you want to sort it by any color or by anything by values as well then you can sort it using these filters so i hope after this session how we can sort data is clear to you in our next session we will be discussing about filtering our data so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you